verse 61. Jesus said, two will sleep in a bed, and one will die, and the other will live. And the student Salome asked, Who are you to sit on my sofa and eat my food? And Jesus said, I am part of the one. I was given some of the things of the one who is my creator. Salome said, Then I am your student. Please teach me. Jesus said to her, Someone is undivided in the light. They will be filled with light. If they are divided in two, they are alone. They will be filled with darkness. Ridding the world of evil once and for all, all people must live in the light. Even little lies count and feed the liar. Verse 62. Jesus said, Those who are seeking of the light will receive. When you give, you do not let the left hand know what the right hand is doing. Verse 63. Jesus said, There is a rich man who said, I will use my money to plant and reap. That done, I will fill my storehouse with produce. That way I will never want for anything. Those were his intentions. But he died that night. Verse 64. Jesus said, a man preparing a huge dinner feast. He sent invitations to guests. The first reply was, I have standing orders against some merchants. They are coming to me this evening. I must go and give them my orders. I asked to be excused. The second invitation's reply was, I have just bought a house and I am required for that day. I cannot find the spare time. The third response was, my friend is going to be married. I am supposed to help plan the details of his banquet. I will not be able to come. I asked to be excused. The fourth reply was, I just bought a farm and I need to collect the rent. I will not be able to come. I asked to be excused. When the host heard the replies, he told his daughter, who was helping to prepare the feast, to go outside to the streets and bring back those she happened to meet. They would be filled in, the chairs that were left empty at the feast. Those who are slaves to money, like businessmen and merchants, will not enter the presence of the one. Craving things of the world blinds people to the invitation to transcend to the spirit. Verse 65. He said, the one was a farmer who owns a large vineyard. He wants it to be productive, so he leased it to sharecroppers. They promised to work it and pay the rent with a share of the crop. At harvest time, the owner sent his produce work, trucker to collect the fruit. The sharecroppers grabbed the one's worker and beating him nearly killed him. When the owner found out, he thought, Maybe they did not recognize my sign on the truck. So he sent another truck, worker, and letter of identification. The sharecroppers beat the second worker as well, not even waiting for the truck to stop. The owner sent his son, thinking, maybe they will respect my son. The sharecroppers knew the one's eldest and heir and looked at him. They seized him as well and brutally murdered him. 